Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the FCP or factory chassis parts engine mounts on my 2022 Gas Gas MC350F. Now I've already done a build overview of my 2022 Gas Gas MC350F. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to that video in the description below. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click on that link. That's going to be a total overview of this bike. But today I'm going to be focusing on a review of the FCP or the, like I said earlier, factory chassis parts engine mounts for this bike. Now you might be asking yourself, what are the benefits of these engine mounts? Are they worth it? Do they really work? And I'm gonna be going over all of that in this video. Now I've had about five rides at several different locations, varying in track type and track condition. So I feel like I have a good idea of what these engine mounts do. I also didn't wanna just do one quick ride and report back to you guys what I felt because there's a recency bias thing, right? When sometimes when you throw on a new part, everything is great for the first ride. And then a couple rides in, you might notice some things like, uh, like I didn't notice this the first time, but this is negatively impacting the bike. So I wanted to get a couple rides on this before reporting back to you guys, like I said. So I have a good feeling about these engine mounts and know how to describe what I feel out on the track with these engine mounts to you guys who are interested in the FCP engine mounts. When these engine mounts arrived, they came in a beautifully packaged box. Um, nothing was damaged or anything, so there's no complaining about the unboxing. I didn't film it because I felt like it was unnecessary. I just want to skip into the meat and potatoes of this video. So it comes with both engine mounts or engine hangers. So that's going to be one on the exhaust clutch side on the other side as well. And then the engine bolt. So all three of them are, like I said, beautiful. These things are super sweet, which is something that they don't really say on their website as they list some of the benefits that you might notice from these FCP engine mounts. These things are beautiful, like I said, and that's not listed. So I just want to give a huge shout out to the FCP engine mount guys. Um, they have a beautiful product here. So installation was easy, just mounts right up. It took me about 15 minutes. Um, so that was no sweat. Now, when I hit the track for the first time with these FCP engine mounts, it was actually at Cahia Creek MX. Now, if you aren't familiar with Cahia Creek MX, it's a track in Southern California. It's pretty fast and flowy with some medium to big size jumps, I would say. Um, and it starts out pretty soft for California standards and then by noonish hits a harder, slick base. So I did have a variety of conditions to test these engine mounts for the first day. So uh, right away when I hit the track, I noticed that the whole bike just felt a little bit more compliant and especially over bumps. So if you're going through bumps, whether it be small, medium, or large size bumps, the bike just feels more compliant, like I said, has a better balance to it, and it just feels more predictable and confidence inspiring knowing that when you're going through these set of bumps, the bike isn't, the bike isn't just going to step out on you or do anything that's unpredictable. Um, and like I said, it's just very confidence inspiring knowing that whether you're on or off throttle going through some of these bumps, your bike's just gonna stay straight as an arrow. Another thing I notice is the bike feels overall less harsh. Now that's gonna be for small impacts, medium impacts, or large impacts. And whether or not the track is rough or not, these engine mounts do a great job of just providing a less harsh ride, um, especially for these KTM gas gas or Husky platform bikes. If you still are running the air fork, you might experience a lot of harshness, especially over bumps or landing from a jump. And these engine mounts do a great job of taking away some of that. And the last thing I want to mention that I noticed with these FCP engine mounts is not necessarily how easy it was to tip the bike over, but it's more, it feels more consistent from turn to turn. My girlfriend and I rode this really cool undisclosed location turn track um, where there's a total rut track and it's really tight. You really don't leave third gear, your first, second gear through most of it. Um, at that same location, there's also a really gnarly, sandy, whooped out track. So that's a good, place to test out these engine mounts and the bike overall from turn to turn just felt more consistent to tip in um, like I had mentioned not necessarily the initial lean of the bike didn't feel a whole lot easier but it felt more consistent from turn to turn um, and that's something that can help improve your lap times if you are racing for me I don't race um, I ride for fun and I want to keep it that way um, but these engine mounts just do a great job of like I said, providing a consistent feel going into the turns when you initiate your lean angle. I think it's important to know what FCP lists on their website as to what these engine mounts are going to help as and all the things that I described really go hand in hand on, as to what they list on their website. And overall, am I happy with my purchase? I would say so. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I don't race. I just ride for fun. 
Um, and I was just really curious to see what these engine mounts would do. I had talked to people who have had engine mounts in the past or currently have them on their bike and they swear by them. I rode a buddy's bike, which is a 2022 CRF250R with these FCP engine mounts and I was pretty impressed, but I also just wanted to see what they could do to my bike um, and, and see if they would make it any better. And they definitely have. Um, one thing that I would also like to mention is there's no negatives with this besides it sets you back 400 bones in your wallet. So your wallet is gonna be hurting a little bit, but as far as the on-track performance is concerned, I noticed no performance hindrance at all. Um, if anything, it's better in every aspect and, and all the things that I mentioned previous in this video. If you are interested in these engine mounts, I encourage you to do your own research. Watch other people's reviews, articles, or videos. Do your own research and see if these are worth it to you before you make a decision on buying these or not. For me, I would say these are worth it. I don't plan on turning around to selling these and get some of my money back or all of it. I'm gonna leave these guys on here. Um, and I think they're gonna stay on here for the rest of this bike's life. So like I'd mentioned, I'm happy with my purchase. Super stoked and uh, just a huge shout out to the FCP Racing guys for making a great product. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one.